Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna discuss the difference between G Suite and Gmail. These are both two popular services uh, offered by Google. They're both basically email services, but they offer some other um, benefits as well that I'll mention. But in comparing the two, you're really just looking at the email service because that's what most people use them for. So first of all, there's Gmail, which has been around for a long time, and uh, people use that for free email service. So like I could get an email address like RyanWebEminence at gmail.com. So millions of people around the world use gmail.com for free email service and it's supported by ads. So when you log in at gmail.com, you're gonna probably see ads uh, as you use your email. So this would be comparable to AOL.com or yahoo.com, MSN, Hotmail, all these free email services that have been popular over the years. So one of the main differences is Gmail is free and G Suite is not free. G Suite is also an email service from Google, but it costs $6 per user or email address per month. Uh, and that's currently, the price will probably go up over time, but yet yeah, currently it's six bucks per email address per month. And then one of the other main differences is rather than having gmail.com as the domain on your email address, with G Suite, you can use your own domain. So I could get like RyanB at webeminence.com. So that would be good for like businesses, for example. Uh, they would rather have their own branding on their email address rather than using like Yahoo or gmail.com. So that's really the main difference. G Suite is paid and it allows you to use a custom domain. Gmail is free and your email address will be on gmail.com. With Gmail and G Suite, you do get access to a suite of apps. Uh, like with Gmail, a free account, you're gonna get access to Google Docs, uh, maybe like Google Chat and things like that. Some people will use those, but mainly when you sign up for Gmail, you're signing up for an email address. Same is true with G Suite. People are usually signing up for that to get email hosting, but you get access to Google Docs, you get more storage uh, in Google Drive, and access to a bunch of other services and they have higher level plans as well. So if you're interested in using G Suite for your email, check out my pricing video where I talk about pricing and I also talk about the different features available in the different plans. So we'll see you on that video.